Hey, Dr. Mikola Rashek of Merge Genomics with a quick video, meaning the goal is to make it under a few minutes. And one of the more common misconceptions that I see based on YouTube comments to my videos is that mRNAs are not natural. And that couldn't be further from the truth. So mRNA is basically stands for messenger RNA. And every single, almost every single cell of our body will produce mRNAs. Basically any cell in our body that has nucleus inside, which obviously has DNA, will produce mRNAs. So it's completely normal. mRNAs are the blueprints, <laughs> blueprints to produce uh, proteins. And you can think of proteins as basically robots that perform all of the work of the cells. So you need mRNAs all the time. We have thousands of different kinds of them and you can have literally hundreds if not thousands of these at a time at any given cell. It's very rapid, it's very transient. That information can change on a very rapid scale based on how the cell perceives the environment. So mRNAs are totally natural and we have tons of them. The reason why people, I think, oftentimes think that mRNAs might not be natural is because the, of the fact that the mRNAs, mRNA gene therapy that was used for vaccination purposes, they use the type of chemicals that are not typically found in nature. They can be seen in nature, but they're not normally found in nature. And as a consequence, I think this is where that misconception, misconception um, maybe comes from. So basically, remember genetic code is made out of four different chemicals and it's the arrangement of these chemicals that acts as a storage of information. I tell you that basically this type of storage of information is uh, considered to be the best type of storage of information that humanity has ever so far discovered or witnessed. And the reason why is because think of it this way, you could literally take all of humanity's creations of any kind, recorded creations, and you could literally put all of that information throughout all those thousands and thousands of years into something like a bacteria cell, right? Hence, you can see how powerful way it is to store information via um, genetic information. And mRNAs are basically blueprints. So they're copies of DNA fragments, and then that mRNA is used inside the cell, not inside the nucleus, but inside the cell. So mRNA will exit the nucleus and then inside the cell it will be used as a blueprint to create the product of interest. Now when it comes to the mRNA vaccines they use type of chemicals that were chemically altered so they would help mRNA last longer. The purpose of that was and also to prevent it from being recognized by the immune system. The reason why this was done is to ensure that when mRNAs from the vaccines enter our cells, then the cell has plenty of time to recognize this, use it to produce spike protein and produce plenty of spike protein. This actually might have turned out to be a double-edged sword and it might have been a, turned out to be an issue because potentially we ended up producing too much spike protein. And I just did a series for my Patreon account where I discussed um, a retracted paper that was spearheaded by Dr. Peter McCullough. And one of the references that was used in that paper showcased that va vaccinal mRNA was isolated from human hearts three days after vaccination. So apparently it can last really, really long time, way longer than anticipated, way longer than one would ever suspect naturally. So. That's basically, but overall, just so you know, mRNAs are very, very natural, very normal part of our human biology. Okay, that's it for now. Those are the quick videos and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.